Hi library friends, this is Miss Leanne from the Huntley Area Public Library. We're back with another fun craft video. Today we're going to be making a paper windmill. So let's get into the video. Supplies you need for today's craft. You're going to need some colored paper. So this is just colored printing paper or if you have construction paper you can use that. And then I have two scraps of construction paper. You need one to cut out two circles and then you need another one to kind of roll it really tightly. So I have a red for the smaller one and then the white for the circle. Then you're gonna need a pair of scissors. You're gonna need some glue and you're gonna need a straight pin. So ask your parents for your, their help. So the straight pins are, let me get it open these tiny pins that hold fabric together when you're sewing. So it has a pointy end and then it has an end that's not pointy. So I have a really small one. You can grab a small one or you can try using a big one. And then what you're also gonna need is a eraser top, which I will just be using this one and I'll just be kind of like all you have to do is kind of pull it off and that's all you need. This is just to um, make sure that you don't poke yourself with the pin when you put it on. So I'm going to place my pin onto the eraser like that. So this is basically what you're gonna do with the eraser is you're gonna hold it so that the pointy part isn't poking you. And make sure you ask your parents for their help because these pins are painful if you poke yourself. All right, so first, what we're gonna do is grab our colored paper and fold them in half. So I have three colored papers because I want my windmill to be really colorful. So I'm going to use the pink and the blue for the spinner and then the yellow for the, um, the little stick. So we're going to put the yellow one to the side. We're going to put that one up there. And then you're going to fold the blue and the pink together. You're going to fold it hamburger style. Just like that. And make sure you crease it really nice. And then you're just going to cut it in half. And it does not need to be perfect. All right. So now we're going to grab one side. So we've done this fold a bunch of times. If you've seen my crafted videos, you're just gonna fold this top edge to this side edge. So if you want, you can actually fold it this way. It's whichever way you want. I think I'm gonna fold it this way. And I'm folding both of the papers at the same time just to save some time. Okay. And then you're gonna cut off the bottom. Like I said, if you've seen my videos, you know that I do this quite often in my videos. This is just a simple trick to get all your paper to be a square. Well, at least as squared as possible. All right, so you're gonna move that to the side. Now, you're gonna cut down the middle of the square.
And as you can see, this one's not so even, but you can fix it up. If you wanna make sure that both the triangles are even, you can line them up with each other and then cut it as straight as you can. There we go, that's good enough. All right, now you're gonna grab whatever you're gonna to use to cut your circle. So to make this easier, I'm just gonna fold this paper in half. And then if you want, you can find something with a circle edge around it. Or what's easier, I think, is just to cut a circle. It doesn't need to be perfect. The circle is just gonna be the inside of your windmill. And you don't want it to be bigger than the size of a quarter. So maybe the size of a nickel or even a dime. So that looks about right. And now we have two circles that match. And now we're just gonna roll all the pieces together. You're gonna grab your white piece of paper Now this may be the trickiest part of it all. What you're gonna do with the paper you're gonna make your stick is you're just gonna roll it. You're gonna start off really tiny. It's a little hard at the beginning, but once you get the roll going, it gets pretty easy. Nope. And you do wanna make sure that the roll is pretty tight. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble too. If you have a toothpick, you can stick the toothpick at the end. If you have a toothpick, you can stick the toothpick right here and then roll it on top. That'll make it a lot easier, but unfortunately, I do not have a toothpick with me. So I'm just gonna have to struggle just a little bit, which is okay. I think I got it. There we go. There we go. So once you get the roll going, it's pretty easy. And then you're gonna grab your glue. Make sure that's open. Hopefully this, oh. You do wanna make sure that you're Roll doesn't unravel like mine did. Okay. And then you're gonna grab your glue. Shake it so that the glue comes out. And then put a generous amount of glue at the end of your roll. And then just roll it together. And 
and then you're gonna let that dry. So I'm gonna put that up there and let it dry. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this tiny one. Might be a little trickier. Okay, so my camera died, but so this one, like I said, is gonna be a little bit trickier because the, it is gonna be construction paper. You could use construction paper or you could use some colored paper. For some reason, I decided I wanted to use construction paper, but I think I changed my mind. I'm actually just gonna grab a post-it note. That'll be a lot easier and the sticky part will stick. So for this one, you want to make it super thin. So you may want a toothpick with this one, but grabbed a yarn needle. I'm going to put that at the end. And that makes it a lot easier to start my roll. And you do want to make sure that your roll sticks to that kind of length. Well, not length, but you know, and then we're going to put some glue along with this tape, well not tape, sticky part. I'm just going to roll it on top of the glue and the sticky part and hopefully the glue will secure it a little bit more. that to the side and let it dry really quick and we're gonna grab our other stuff so grab one of your circles and all of your triangle pieces now what we're gonna do is put a small amount of glue and do this stick so you see how the triangle has two acute pieces and then a right so you see how the triangle has two pointy pieces ends and one bigger wider point you want know, to grab that wider point it looks like it'll be the center where it looks like an L you want know, to grab that piece and just stick it on just like that then grab your next one kind of line it up as best as you can then your next one you want to do every other color if you have more than one color so you can get that nice swirl when you spin it There we go. Now you, you want to let that dry. And now you want to put a small amount of glue right in that center. Kind of swirl it around. And then you want to take each of the left corner of each of the triangles. So this corner of that pink triangle. You want to grab it and line it up 
to that center of that pink. So you want to line it up against here. And hold it for a little bit till that glue dries. Oh. So you're gonna grab all the other ones. Put another dot of glue be really generous with your glue now you're going to put that other side of that well the other circle right on top of it press it down and then you're going to let it dry And now all of your pieces stick together. So what I find easiest to do is try to grab all of my corners and hold them in the middle for a couple of seconds to let that glue sit. Even if my finger is sticking to the glue, that's okay. And then I put the white on. Instead of doing trying to do one um, corner at a time, which then all the other corners will fall out once you put another corner in. So I think it's best to do all four at the same time. And also it saves a lot of time for you. And then let's see, if you need some extra glue, put it wherever you think you need it. For example, I think I need glue there. Okay, oak. Now you're gonna grab this the small roll that you did and you grab your pin you're gonna kind of measure it just a little bit and you want to cut it you want to cut it right before that a couple inches before that pin because you're gonna be sticking it through that straw that we made and poking it through the eraser top. So you don't want to make the cut too big. So I'm going to cut the edge off first because it doesn't look like it's sticking that well. And then I'm going to maybe cut that much. Which is like about the width of my pinky so that you guys can get that measurement and then now you're gonna stick your pin be very careful and grab your parents you're gonna stick your pin through that center of that circle and you want to poke it through till it goes to the other side and make sure your finger isn't in the way or else you will prick yourself so just like that. And now you're gonna stick that needle through there. I think that might be a little bit too big still. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this down a little bit. Or maybe I would recommend a lo longer straight pin like a regular length one. So I have a different one over here. So we're gonna use yellow. So we're gonna stick it through that center. Stick it through here. I think we need to cut a bigger piece now. So this one, you can cut it pretty big. So depending on the size of your straight pin is how much you want to cut it. You do want to make sure that it's going to stick through 
It has enough space to stick through the straw and it has enough space to stick through the eraser top. So you might just have to keep measuring it again and again. So that's about a good. And then you're gonna grab your stick that you rolled. I'm cutting the top and the bottom off so that you get that straight um, stick. And then you're gonna be careful again. And you're gonna stick the needle through the paper. So I got through one, and then I got through two. You're gonna let it loose just a little bit. And now you're gonna put the eraser top on that pointy edge. Just like that. You don't wanna poke it through all the way or else um, then the eraser top will kind of be a little bit pointless. And then you got your windmill. Thanks for watching. Make sure you log on to HuntleyLibrary.org for all your digital content you have access to with your library card. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more fun story times and crafts. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.